So today I'm going to be reviewing this, the new ASUS ROG Republic of Gamers monitor. It's the ASUS um, model PG278Q. It's a 27 inch computer monitor, but the resolution is uh, 2560 by 1440. Most 27 inch monitors are 1080p. The awesome thing about this monitor is it is 144 hertz, which means it's super high refresh rates. And that should translate to a lot of awesomeness, especially when gaming and just even in general computer use. It'd be a lot less flickering and everything's just going to look smoother. So I'm really excited to uh, try this out. It's only a 27-inch monitor, but it has the um, NVIDIA G-Sync. Currently, I use an old Dell 30-inch uh, monitor. It's like, the, I think it's a WFP3007. So that, that resolution, it's slightly high resolution at 2560 by 1600, but it is starting to look washed out. I mean, I've had that for several years. I think I got it. I mean, when it came out, it was like $1,000 or something. Uh, th this one retails for $800, still pretty. It's a hot item right now. It's sold out a lot of places. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to pick one up at Fry's today, so I was pretty happy about that. But I'm gonna show you my current setup. So here's kind of my current setup. It's a, um, you know, that's my Dell. It's a 30 inch monitor. It's a nice monitor, I love it. I mean, the real estate's great on it. But the screen just started looking really yellow and dingy. It's been a great monitor. I've had it, like I say, I've had, the, had this for at least six years. So, really excited to try out the new 144 hertz monitor I got. The color should be a lot better. Now, both of these are TN panels. You might have heard stuff about TN panels not being that great, but they're, they're great because they're, they're, they're fast. They might not have the best color reproduction, but I'm, I'm more worried about gaming I and mean, just general usage. I don't like input lag on my mouse, so I think this is going to really help me out. Most of the TN monitors you hear about, they get a bad rap because they're 6-bit, but the, the Asus monitor that I got is actually an 8-bit monitor, so it should be noticeably better. I will miss the size, it's just a little bit bigger, but I think the refresh rate on the other monitor is going to more than make up for it. So anyways, that's my current setup now. Let's get it hooked up and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go, that's kind of what she looks like out of the box. Here's a, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Dell 30-inch monitor. You can see it's, uh, the Asus is significantly smaller with 3 inches less screen, but, but, the, but it looks, definitely looks more modern and just nicer overall than the Dell. So we got the monitor hooked up. You know, it's looking pretty decent. It's definitely not as substantial on the desk as the 30-inch monitor. 30-inch monitor just uh, look a little bit more impressive because it just looked bigger, but I really kind of wish Asus... Uh, would have made a 30 inch of this, uh, but as it is, it's still the highest res G-Sync capable monitor of 144 hertz that you can get. Um, and as far as I know, there are no 4K monitors capable of even over 60 hertz. Um, and I think refresh rate is much more important than resolution when it comes to gaming. And I'm a big fan of PC gaming. Um, I, I can show you some of the improvements here. So you can kind of see here, I mean, even this was like my second round of playing after getting the new monitor. Um, my screen name is B Sample. You can see I was in second place. I mean, I couldn't really believe it. Usually, I'm in the bottom third in scoring. So, and I've been consistently scoring these these higher scores. You know, now I'm usually in the top third. So, it, it's definitely made a, a significant improvement in my um, in my gaming. So, one of the really great features of this monitor is the uh, uh, adjustability of it. Um, you can basically it goes up and down well, vertically, 14 and a half inches. So, all the way down there to all the way up here. So you can get it really right in line with your um, line of sight. Uh, you could also, it also tilts and sw oh, actually also s swivels. Um, you can see about 120 degrees either way, which is a really nice um, feature. Also, you know, you can tilt this from vertical to, um, um, from horizontal to vertical, to vertically and that um, I don't know why you would want it that way but you can if you want to do some long pages of reading or if this somehow was your secondary monitor um, I don't know if you're into stocks or something like that um, the other thing is it, it also does um, it tilts up and down here a decent amount so you can kind of get it really kind of dial it in however way you want to get it adjusted which is I mean it's a really good feature of the Monitor. The other thing is the stand and, and uh, base quality. The overall build quality of the monitor is really, really um, high end. It has a slightly, slightly textured uh, finish than the base and the stand. And the bezel you can see is very narrow. It's about half, half, half the width of uh, on my thumb. So that looks really nice. Like at night, you really just the only thing you really notice is the monitor. So it kind of just sitting there floating in the air. It's kinda, it's really nice. You don't notice the bezel at all. There's no you know there's no glossy 
uh, plastic, black plastic anywhere on the monitor either, which you know attracts a lot of fingerprints. Um, you don't have a lot of um, stupid branding. It just has a little Asus uh, logo here and then a Republic of Gamers logo down here. It did come with a couple stickers as well down here, but I took those off. So it's really the only thing. It's not really, uh, it doesn't really have any obnoxious branding, which is really nice and it keeps the monitor looking very, very slick. A um, couple of the negative things about it is the, the USB uh, ports are 3.0, which is great, but they're back here underneath the monitor and they're kind of hard to reach. It'd kind of be nicer if it was somehow in, somehow incorporated into the stand or into the side where it'd be easier to access, but as it is, I mean, at least it has the 3.0 uh, ports, but they're just, like I say, hard to reach. Um, it, compared to an IPS panel, it's slightly more, the whites are slightly more yellow, um, but if, you know, if you're not really used to an IPS panel, you won't really notice it. Um, and the color reproduction is not quite as good as, as a normal IPS um, panel. This is just a TN panel, although it's 8-bit versus most of the 6-bit TN panels, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so it is pretty, I mean, picture quality is pretty good. I don't think you would really notice too much, and it's a, it's a really good trade-off for gaming. The other thing is the off-axis the off -access, um, viewing angles are, aren't very good, so if you were to go left or right or up or down, you can see some color shifting. Um, but luckily, with the adjustability, you can kind of um, negate that because you just pretty much are going to set it right where you right where you sit in front of it all the time. You won't. I don't really notice it too much. I don't think. I don't think you would um, either, unless you're constantly looking at it from the side for some reason. There is a little bit of backlight bleed or two across the bottom. Um, when you have an all black screen, um, you will see a little a slight backlight bleed across the um, bottom bar here. Nothing too nothing too serious. But like I say, this is just a it's a TN panel, but the trade-off here is that you get really high speed. Uh, you don't get any input lag on the mouse, and the refresh rate obviously is super high. Um, and you get G-Sync at the high 2560 by 1440 resolution. So I think the trade-off, especially if you're a if you're a gamer, is one that's worth making for slightly less picture quality. So like I say, I would still I would still recommend this in the end. Um, gaming at 120 plus hertz is is a huge difference from from 60 hertz, and games just look amazing. Everything feels smoother. Um, and flicker free. Even a normal desktop usage, you won't really be able to see it here, but I mean, even moving windows around is just really smooth. Um, this is a virtual machine, but it's a little bit slower. I mean, here, if you drag windows around, I mean, it's it's just noticeably smoother. Um, I'd say, I mean, after gaming on this for, I mean, I've had it for a couple months now almost. I mean, I don't think I could ever go back to a 60 hertz monitor. This is just the, this is just the way to go. I mean, I know they make higher res, Resolution monitors now 4 and 5k, but the refresh rates are only up to 60 hertz. So to me, it's not ideal for gaming. Those are better uh, suited for if you were like a, a creative professional making, um, I don't know, if you were making movies or doing photo editing or something like that. So, I mean, so if you're a gamer in the market for a new monitor and you can find one of these uh, in stock, I'll, I'd definitely say pick one up. Uh, there's, no, there's not really a better choice out there right now, and um, I've been really happy with mine overall. I, I haven't really had any issues except for the couple of things I mentioned with the uh, screen quality. One other great feature about this monitor is the uh, on-screen display uh, menu. It's really easy to use. There's just like a little joystick button back here, four-way joystick, up, down, left, right. So it's really easy to get into the settings and adjust it without having to think too much about it. I kind of like that. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, color, temperature. Um, also, you have a um, the light in motion, which is a cool, it's kind of just a cool feature here which is where it just lights up the base. Be a little distracting if you have it on all the time, especially for gaming, but you know, if at night you're just kind of like, I don't know, on your computer surfing the web or something, it's kind of neat to have it have it showing. So that that's kind of cool. I wish there was just a button for it to just flip, um, switch it on and off, but it's easy enough to get in this menu pretty fast, so I do like that, it fades in and out. So cool little touch that Asus added. And, and finally, I mean, the on off switch activates really fast, you can see. But I think after it stays off, but it doesn't always work. So after it stays off for, I think, a certain amount of time, it does actually take a while to turn it back on. But if you're just going to flick it off, uh, flip it off real fast, it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's my review uh, of the, the Asus Swift ROG monitor. Drop me a comment if you have a question or, or give me a thumbs up if the video has helped you out. And um, remember to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get all the tech freshness. Thanks a lot, guys.